uh, bright and early on my way to the FedEx transfer station due to some miscommunication and some terrible, terrible FedEx tracking, my geckos have been sitting there for over a day now. So that's pretty awesome. I hope they're still alive. I'm gonna run down there, I'm gonna unbox it at the FedEx location and uh, just hope for the best. All right, we are back in the fish room. I forgot to turn the heater off, so we're gonna hear that whine. I apologize. But this is the enclosure they're gonna be going in. It's an 18 by 18 by 24. Um, I did not expect them to be this large. So I will be upgrading them fairly soon. So they obviously survived that extra day. Uh, the lady at the uh, FedEx office was like, is this a snake? If it's a snake, I'm not getting it. Oh, there he goes. They kept him in the office since it said live animals, so they did have him uh, in a heated room and not out in the warehouse, which was nice. Definitely got to get the, the mister going for him. They're probably pretty thirsty. Definitely not a, uh, like most geckos, uh, species to handle, so I just kind of let them do their own thing. Now, in case you didn't know, I used to actually breed uh, leaf tail geckos, mossy leaf tail geckos, about uh, 12, 15 years ago ish. And uh, if I can find a picture, I'll post a picture up here. So if, I let it, if I can find a picture, I'll have it pop up here. Come on, guy. Come on. There you go. There you go. I know, you need some bigger vines. I didn't expect you guys to be so large. Nope, I did not. This is also in my heated fish room. It stays about 78-ish degrees, about 55% humidity, I believe is what I have it set at. Uh, but I do mist quite regularly, at least once a day, normally twice a day. If I'm really bored, three times a day. But yeah, they're definitely thirsty. Yeah, he's drinking it up over there. This tank has been sitting empty for a while. Uh, there's no isopods or springtails in here. I will be adding those later. There's a spider in here I need to try to find and get out of here. It's really kind of annoying. All the webs. Uh, probably give them... But I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give him a little time to acclimate, let him kind of explore around. I'm not gonna bother him anymore for a couple hours. Uh, maybe miss again this evening, throw some food in there, and see how they're doing. next day and as you see I did get them to uh, eat some dubia roaches last night which will be their main diet and I'll also be adding some isopods and I'm sure they'll pick one or two of those off uh, here and there so uh, give them a little bit of variety but definitely mostly will be dubia roaches if you don't know they are from Madagascar they get about six to seven inches love humidity temperatures in the mid 70s really easy to care for a little bit expensive uh, they are kind of rare um, but uh, other than that, a really great display gecko, which will go perfect in my tropical room here. I'm really looking forward to breeding them. 
And uh, let's take one more look at him. Now, normally, half the fun is trying to locate these guys, but she's making it pretty easy. It's not uncommon for them to just hang on the glass. The thing I don't like about missing all the time is all the uh, <laughs> the droplets, the dried droplets, but that's all right. It's not the end of the world. Oh, and here we are right here. Look at this. Look at this guy. He thinks he's being sneaky and we can't see him, but we can. Maybe. There we go. Now, in case you're wondering where I got these gems, I got them from Imperial Reptiles. First time I've ever ordered from them. Uh, the owner is pretty active in, the, in a Europlatus, which these are Europlatus Sicarae, if you didn't know, is their scientific name. Uh, he's pretty active in a Europlatus forum on a, or a group on Facebook. So I gave him a shot. I'm pretty happy, good communication and really no complaints. Uh, actually, you know, I will say it was kind of weird. They wanted a copy of my driver's license um, for purchases over 200 made with a credit card, which I thought was weird, but um, <laughs> they were able to work with me because there's no way I'm giving a copy of my ID to strangers on the internet to have a copy of my credit card number as well. Uh, as someone who has a background in information security, that just seems like a bad idea in general. But uh, they were able to work with me. They verified that it was me and I uh, wasn't scamming or using someone else's credit card. So that worked out all right. And uh, we got them here. But I'm super happy to be working with this species again. Looking forward to breeding them, having my own little offspring. I'm going to try to find another female once I upgrade them to an 18 by 18 by 36 that I'm building right now. So you want to see that build it's coming uh, pretty soon on the uh, channel so that'll be fun and uh, get a trio of these guys breeding anyways hope you enjoyed the quick video and definitely be sure to subscribe if you're not see more of these awesome animals and more uh, awesome stuff for the future all right <laughs> I guess <laughs> anyways whatever I'll see you next time